worse and worse. This Green New Deal is a destructive force, and it's total bullshit, I have to tell you. And I was looking for another word, because every time I do it, I get killed, you know? Even our great first lady, she'll say, you shouldn't have used the word bullshit. But, but there is no better description. I can't think of, I have a very nice vocabulary. I can't think of a word that fits it better. Look at Germany. Germany decided to go windmills all over, you know, kill all their birds, windmills. They decided to go solar. Solar, I like solar, but it's very limited in its capacity. It can't fire their big, massive plants. And, you know, I took a lot of heat. I made a speech at the United Nations, and I criticized Germany for making a deal on the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. Nobody ever heard of Nord Stream 2 until I came along. They had the thing almost built. And I said, what the hell is this? They're supplying Europe with oil and gas. And I said, that's not going to happen. And I told Angela Merkel, I'm sending her the flag, the white flag of surrender. I sent her the flag. But, Donald, Donald, why do you send me this flag? I said, because if you look at the history of Germany and Russia, there's bad things happen. I said, and Angela, if you're getting 72% of your energy from Russia, here is the white flag, because you will be surrendering very quickly. Who the hell thought it was going to happen this fast, right? And you know what happened? It was very interesting. When I was at the United Nations making a speech, there were like seven very handsome German gentlemen, and they were smiling and laughing. They thought it was so cute. They thought it was so funny that I was making this statement. Reliance on a single foreign supplier can leave a nation vulnerable to extortion and intimidation. That is why we congratulate European states such as Poland, for leading the construction of a Baltic pipeline so that nations are not dependent on Russia to meet their energy needs. Germany will become totally dependent on Russian energy if it does not immediately change course. Here in the Western Hemisphere, we are committed to maintaining our independence from the encroachment of expansionist foreign powers. They're not laughing anymore. Most of them are thrown out of the place. And Germany now is going back to the old-fashioned stuff, including coal, by the way. But they have no choice. They won't have a country. They won't have a country left. Who would have thought it was going to happen so quickly?